Hello, and welcome to Bee's Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to make the simplest of all recipes, and that is homemade cranberry sauce. This recipe consists of fresh cranberries, one bag, sugar, water, mandarin oranges, the zest of one orange, and just a touch of nutmeg. And that, and when I say this, you couldn't make anything easier. And I know we're used to buying ocean spray or just getting something out of the, the can, but I promise you, once I made this recipe, and I got it from one of my long, lifelong friends, Jackie, and she told me, she said, you'll never eat canned cranberry sauce again, and I haven't. And I am I, a real fan of turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy, and cranberry sauce. And this has become one of my favorites. So let's get started. Okay, we're just about ready. I'm just going to get the zest of this orange. It's just one navel orange and I washed it. And I'm using a microplane, which is the best thing since sliced bread, to get the zest off because you don't end up with that bitter part of the skin, but you get all the oil. And we can come back to that. Let's go over to the stove. Right now I am boiling the water. And once the water boils, I will add the sugar. And we'll let that boil for approximately five minutes. And I always use wooden spoons so I don't burn my hands. I did that for many years. want this to boil for a few minutes so that the uh, sugar and is completely dissolved before we add the cranberries. So probably about five minutes let it boil. I turned it up high so it'll boil faster. In the meantime, these, man, these little mandarins are real tiny mandarin oranges, but I think I want to chop them up a bit. I like to chop them. I find when they're chopped, they work better. So let's do that while we're waiting right here because there's just, just a little bit. It's not real major, it's not major chopping. Just, you know, just a little bit in half, just a bit. Just so when we add them to the, um, you don't taste more orange than cranberry. And see how simple they are to chop. And there you are. Our water is almost boiling. Okay, the water and sugar have been boiling for about five minutes, and now we're going to add the fresh cranberries, stir a bit, and get them simmering and now this is the fun part because we gotta we gotta let them simmer until they start to pop and it doesn't take long uh i'll turn the fire up a little bit to get them moving okay the cranberries have now started exploding and so and they smell delicious and now we'll remove them from the fire from the heat and we'll just let them sit for a moment i'm going to put them in a, in a different container so that they can I'll use this one so that they can start cooling sooner because I don't like to add the orange zest, the nutmeg, and the oranges until they've cooled down a bit. So let's just transfer them to this bowl. This probably wasn't a good choice of bowls I should probably use, but I'll transfer them to another bowl after. After they cool down a bit so we'll let these cool down and then we'll come back after they've cooled down a bit okay our cranberries have finally cooled off they're already delicious so now that they're cool I'm going to add the mandarin oranges that you saw me chop up just a wee bit and 
a eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. We add all these things once they've cooled off. So we've got this in there. And I already stuck my finger in, it's delicious. But wait till it's done. You'll never, oh, you'll love it. Now we're gonna add orange zest. And, I, and I'm using a zest from one navel orange. And I used a micro blade, I think I told you that earlier. And that's, and that's the easiest recipe that, you, that man has come up with. There's nothing easier. We pour it. Sorry about that. We pour it into the container and chill. And pull it out for dinner. And that's our recipe. Easiest pie. Thank you for watching me make that the, the recipe for the cranberry sauce and I'm sure you'll love it. Please come back.